long awaited, long in development, now it's here. Welcome to Flying Keywords. Hello and welcome back here on the Flying Channel to the first video of our new keywords and advertising module you see above me. We had over the last few months a lot of development. We had a lot of talks with different data providers, what's possible. And now it is here, our new keywords application where you have everything you want from the search volume over cost per click till advertising ranks and so on. This year should not just be some kind of keyword module or keyword tool that is out there where you have like some Google search volume, then you have maybe a trend and then a few suggestion and that it, that's it. No, we really want to create something new and you see all the different tabs and every tab has unique functions with so many possibilities you will find nowhere else and this is not just some promises it's already here it's already live if you have the keyword package or the black friday deal from 2022 you can test it and use it on flyingresearch.net this will be the first video of our series where we go first through all the tabs. Of course, today we look at keyword search, the first tab. And then after we had a look at the different tabs, of course, we will also bring workflow videos, how you can use it for your listing, how you can use it to find niches, how you can find it to um, yeah, optimize your advertising. And you will be amazed, believe me, what this can bring to you and how all the little functions here help you to bring up your game. Okay, lots of promises and now it's time to fulfill it. So today we start with the keyword search. We start right now and let's go. In the keyword search, I show you now, of course, all the possibilities that you have to make your life easier or your data better. The basic functionality nevertheless should be very clear. So you have here your marketplace. We have six different marketplaces and then you can enter here the keyword that you want to use. For example, we search in this case St. Patrick's Day and then you click enter or you click on search and then all the keyword data gets loaded. This year is always the same. So you have here the 12 month chart for Amazon and Google when it is about search volume. And then you have here the five year interest over uh, for Google Trends, where you can see with the first view, hey, this keyword, is it trending? Is it uh, going down? Is it steady like this one here? So, you know, with the first view, okay, this keyword is uh, popular or the interest is going down. And then you have here the word frequency, also nice to know. So from all the keywords, you see how often these are uh, appearing. And then you have here the keyword results. So the very interesting stuff is, for, for example, on the first view, always the, the search volume. Uh, we will go to this a little bit later and to the keywords. What I want to show you now in the beginning is what you can do here in the interface. And uh, quite a popular function you will often use is the sort function. Every row you can see here, simply click on it and then it will get sorted. For example, here the uh, first click and then you see the, um, the keyword with the highest search volume first and then it goes down. And of course, if you click on it again, you will see with the lowest volume first or the keywords that don't have data. And if you click on it again, it will be back to default. And you can do this for every line here. Other functionalities you have here is you have the keyword workbench. If you click on it, you get all the keywords here. And then you have here a formatted where you can download it, where you can copy it, uh, where you can edit it. We have a separate video for the keyword workbench. Um, you can have a look on our YouTube. But um, yeah, this is if you wanna 
already work with your keywords or with the keywords you have here um, for advertising, for example, it's very good. So you can format it the way you want. You can copy it and then post it into your advertising console. Also, what you have here is a copy keywords. This is a little bit more basic. So if you click on it, it simply copies here all the keywords that are found into your clipboard and then you can copy paste it, for example, also into your uh, advertising console or also in some kind of spreadsheet. A spreadsheet, we also have a, um, an Excel export. So it exports you all the data with the lines you have selected and then you can work with it with your own parameters. Um, yeah, this is how the Excel export works and in options you find these three here again and also some other helpful uh, functions. For example, if you wanna all copy all the competition ASINs from the products that are advertised on these keywords, you can simply do it here with one click, but you can also do this in the filters I show you now. So this is here what you can do with the interface and the one that you use to customize your experience is here this keywords filter. Click on this icon and then you can see here all the things that you can do. You see here a lot of data, but you can also click for example on unselect all and then you have just the keywords. And probably you get already now an idea, you can now make your keyword table exactly the way you want. So you have here or you can scroll down here and then you have here all the things that you can show and of course you simply click on the things you want to have shown for example you want to have the google search volume click on it you want to have the 30 days google trends click on it you want to have the amazon cost per click click on it and of course you have also factors like you can see how many total products are running on these keywords or how many reviews does page one designs or products have and of course you see also then the total sales for example and also the you have different um yeah keywords you can show you can show uh, positioning so for example how much um, does it yeah does it need to rank on page one for example and also what you probably want to use is scores so you can see how competitive is a keyword or how much ranking potential has a keyword and you see here all the different factors and um, of course to show now everything would be a bit much but uh, yeah you can see what it can do all the different rankings and um, yeah this is what i mentioned before with the that we want to create something new so i think this is something new it is something you won't find anything else and all the data you get here in our first tab, this is just the first step is uh, on other sides, the whole keyword application or not even as much. Um, yeah, and of course, we also created for you here some presets. So if you want to see everything related to Amazon, click on this one, click on the Google one. Um, if you want to see everything around Google, we also have something just for positioning. So yeah, all the uh, all the sales you need to rank on page one, how many sales you can expect estimated when your design ranks on page one, and also how the ads requirement for ranking is, the scores, and so on. So you see here all the things that you can do, and one last thing I want to show you is, of course, for one time we select everything. So this this is all the things we have here and all the things that get shown to you. I can't make my screen as small, <laughs> but if you have uh, two screens, for example, you can do this. Um, and yeah, otherwise you have here all the data you can and want to have for one single keyword. So I think 
now you got an idea how powerful this can be and yeah um another thing one last thing i should show you is you have advanced options where you can have different filters it's the these things you can define here and then of course you can set here simple filters for example if you want to have always a minimum search volume for a keyword you want to have shown then you can enter this here okay so this is the uh, basic stuff of our what, what the basic stuff <laughs> all the stuff of our keyword search all the functionalities you have on the interface um, the data you have and also the customization you have here and you can um, get shown so i hope you have now a little clue how much data this is here and yeah i just can say it again this is just a keyword search we have many other tabs i show you in the next videos and because i don't want to just end this video with um, yeah this is everything you can do we make now a last tape where i show you how i configure my table and what i use and then um, you probably get a little bit more of an idea yeah how it works so then let's have a look as promised i show you now how i configure my table this is like a laboratory for keywords and for advertising and of course you can make a science out of it out of it <laughs> um, i tend to make it simple to uh, show the general stuff then compare a few factors and then say okay yeah let's try this keyword so what i always do is I always go with the search volume of Google and I always go with the search volume of Amazon. What I'm also always very interested in is the Amazon costs per click. Um, the trends, I know many people like trends and love trends. I don't care too much, to be honest. I have here my five year trends and to be honest, this is for me enough to say, um, on the yeah to say this this works this doesn't work and of course for example St. Patrick's Day I know that it will be big in end of February and March and in October no one will search for St. Patrick's Day so this is for me enough what I always want to see is I need to see the total product so I also show you in a moment why and yeah then this year is okay what i uh yeah what i often show is the top asian ranks this is also interesting for me so what are the top performers the niche revenue is not so important for me also not the amazon um, keywords the ranking position we have a sever separated tab for it um, i show you in another video so I'm not that interested in the keyword search and then the scores. I usually uh, show the competitiveness, the ranking potential and always also the ad pay potential because this is very interesting for me. And yeah, this is like how I configure my table. Um, this is to get a general overview, especially if you have like St. Patrick's Day, very competitive, very big niche. So I need to know what cost per click to accept. And of course the cost per click are very high for many keywords on St. Patrick's Day. And of course also the total products. Why I mentioned a moment before I need the total products because this is for me the the most important factor for a niche and for a keyword. I see the total products and I know, hey, um, people jumped on the train already or it's already mega competitive like you see here and um, yeah this is what these factors give me and the great thing about the keyword search is you can click here for example by at total products at top rankings and then you see the products on Amazon you compete against. This is not merch. This is really the products you compete against. And for the keyword St. Patrick's Day, for example, and of course you have here 
endless reviews. Um, so you can see here exactly what you can compete against and maybe you can also get here some keyword, uh, sorry, some design ideas, of course. Um, so this is very important for me. You can also copy here the ASINs, but what I even love to do more is you have here the top ASIN ranks and you can also click here and then you have here, um, yeah, delivered <laughs> by, by the keywords, by Flying Research, all the top ranking ASINs. And if you now, if I now make, for example, a campaign on Amazon uh, product campaign, then this is like uh, heaven for me because I simply copy to clipboard, I paste it into my advertising console and then my um, yeah, whole campaign is ready. And usually this is like an endless journey. This is like an endless journey to get all the top ASINs to copy paste everything and then make a campaign for it. And here you really have it on one click. So if you wanna do this manually without the keyboard search, without this functionality, you probably need an hour or at least 45 minutes, something like this. So this is why, why it is very powerful. And this is why I also mentioned that I compare things, you know, the total product, the Amazon costs per click, and of course, also the competitiveness. This is something you can really, really good compare. And um, yeah, this is just for me to get the overview, to see what I can use and as I said, it's for all the functionalities you have, it's it's very simple. So it's basically, okay, how is it searched? Uh, how many products compete against and how is my potential to get in? This is like how I use the keyword search. Of course, you can use it the way you want. I showed you, you have so many tabs. This is like 10% of it, maybe even less. So use it the way you want. This is just an example how I do it. Okay, this was the first video. Don't worry, the others won't be that long because I don't have to explain too much or so much. Um, if you like the new keyword search, then have a look at flyingresearch.net. Um, if you like this video, if you like the functions, then leave a like and subscribe also to this channel. It would be a big, big help to us. It's just one or two clicks for you. And um, yeah, it's... Uh, but it has a high influence on us because it helps us that us that we grow organically and more people can see our videos and of course if you have any questions about the new keyword module about the keyword search about any data or rankings here then simply paste it down post it down in the comments and then we or i see you to the next video the keyword competition see you then Bye.